Good morning. Morning. Welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. It's a cool, dreary day. Long, long, old night we had last night. We're both pretty beat today. We uh, have always had coyotes coming around. Don't usually have them get too close. If they do, I can usually fire a shot, scare them on out of here, but it's starting to get close to kidding season. And last night they were crazy. They were getting way too close. With kidding season being right around the corner, you know, we've, we've got to protect our own as every landowner and livestock owner knows. So we're going to uh, head into town here. We're going to go check out Wally World and our local Atwoods and see if we can get a couple game cams. We gotta try to figure out how close they're really getting. I know at one point last night I had at least one in my pasture because it took after my horse. Thank God he was fast enough and smart enough to get away, but we're gonna go check this out and see what we can do to start deterring them. If anybody's got a suggestion other than just killing them, let me know, let us know in the comments. Uh, I have no problem shooting coyotes. I just, I can't ever get any, get any place to shoot one up. They're never close enough for me to get a shot at. Well, not only that, it's kind of hard to get a shot when you're woken up in the middle of the night. You know, poor Rusty's standing out there in his underwear. <laughs> no shoes on. <laughs> just trying to scare them off. And thank, last... thank God we live in the country because... <laughs> I'm sure my neighbors wouldn't appreciate seeing me and my chonies on the back porch holding a rifle. <laughs> yeah, and we've we've never really had them come back the way they did last night. Uh, normally, Rusty will go out and fire a shot, and they're gone. And it was really odd last night because the first time they came, they were they were really close. We could hear them. Uh, Mayday's actually the one that woke us up. He was asleep in his kennel, and he got that deep rolling growl. And then he just shot straight up and started, he barked once. And then we heard him. And, well, Rusty heard him and he, you know, woke me up and said, hey, we've got coyotes in the pasture. So, um, then it's a scramble, right? <laughs> and, um. Mayday did his job. Yeah. That, that boy. But it was weird because he shot the first shot and they took off. You know, they got quiet or left or whatever. And then it was a good 10, 20 minutes. And we were, of course, wide awake by then. And we heard one, like a lone coyote, just yipping the way they'll do when they're when they're calling. And uh, so Russ went back out, checked again, and I don't remember, did you fire a shot then? I wound up firing a, a second shot. Uh, I know for sure, just from the direction that, the, that he was coming from, he was between my house and neighbors and guys there's not but about 300 yards between my house and the neighbor's house so I made sure to take a shot out there and it was gone and it was probably a good hour later wouldn't you say right right I, I, I told Russ that they probably had that the coyotes had a, a binoculars or something out there because every time by then I'm awake so I'm on my phone and just surfing and uh, Russ would just start to fall asleep and they fire back up they'd start again it was just the funniest thing um, not funny then but <laughs> Russ would jump up again and yeah he went out and he checked the goats uh, Rosie was doing her job she had the goats uh, safely tucked back into that um, barn just like she did on that other video with the rain or the storm. She did the same thing. She had them all tucked in. Um, like you said, the horse was out, but then he, he came running back to the barn too. So um, I don't know guys, if they're just getting a little too close for comfort. I'm terrified of coyotes anyway. Um, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna see if we can fix it. All right. Got to see what we can do. I did get a phone call from a, a neighbor this morning. Uh, he texted me about 3 o'clock last night or this morning. And he said, hey, man, if you need me, holler at me. We can take a gator out there and see if we can find him. I told him, I said, well, they're in the, in the neighbor's pasture. I said, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. If I 
my knee to a holler at you and we'll do something. He called back a little bit ago. Uh, one of his friend's dad does a lot of calling and shit hunting coyotes, so he said he'd be more than glad to come over if we give him permission to hunt the land. I told him, bring him on. He can come over here and call him up. He can shoot every daggone coyote in the country if he wants to. I don't care. Right on. Well, and it wasn't two weeks ago uh, one of our neighbors saw a bobcat prowling around, and so we were really concerned about that as well. Um, so it'll be good to get a game camera set up out there with the goats, and that way we can, um, you know, see if anything is coming close. And, and if we get anything on the game camera, we'll definitely review it here. Uh, we'll post it. But, man, what a sleepless night. But life goes on, right? <laughs> no, re no, ain't no rest for the wicked. That's right. we got to head on over to Walmart, Nat Woods, and see what we can find. Okay guys, so we stop in here at Atwoods. I check online for Walmart. They had some that were a little bit cheaper, but we wound up getting a Stealth Cam OS 14 three pack on sale right now for $90.99 for three. So that's what we're gonna do. That gets us our barn, our pasture, and probably two in the pasture to cover. That way we know exactly what's going on out there. And I know we're gonna get some really wild footage on this before long and we'll be sharing that with you as soon as we get it up okay guys i went ahead and uh, like i say bought those uh, trail cams at atwoods i went ahead and i had to come to walmart went ahead and picked me up another box of shells for the shotgun just bought some light target load i really know that uh, i'm not going to be killing anything with it it's more of a noise maker trying to scare them off we got all three of our SD cards and batteries that way we're ready to rock and roll tonight let them suckers come back because we're gonna catch them tonight last night they were up in those trees pretty loud for a little while up close to the pond so you think we should go up to the pond next yeah, I'm thinking we'll go up there to the pond and and kind of shoot back to the east as well because I really feel like that's this east side is where we're going to see get our most activity. four deer we've seen on our place in probably three months. <clears throat> okay guys, uh, as you can see we have this massive swimming hole slash fishing pond. Okay, really it's a mud puddle. <laughs> but it's just drainage. Uh, it's a runoff pond. There's really no good place for to catch runoff water. This is the most, probably the most water it's had in it in the four years we've been here. I really need to get a dozer in here one of these days and get it packed. I'll clean it out and get it packed good. So that way maybe we can start collecting a little bit of rainwater because it's, it's a beautiful spot, but we've got too many trees growing up in it. Trees are what trees are, are there sucking up the one little, little bit of water we get. So that's, that's on the bucket list. Can you turn it on? <laughs> oh, red light came on. Okay, we'll come back out tomorrow, take a look and see what we got. Okay, so we're up here on the balcony again to show you guys where we're at, kind of what we did. Mm, that's no burning rubber. Okay, as you can know, right over here is our barn. I put the first camera in there. Uh, went on back out here, 
I put camera number two right over there in that little little tree. I had it set there pointing pretty much straight east. Uh, this back fence line right across here is where we're getting all the activity, I feel. So I went ahead and went over here in the pond, inside the pond, right in that area right there. I set up camera number three, kind of shooting it back off to the south and east a little bit, trying to get around that old junk pile and see what's going on out there. Okay, so we went out and got those cameras all hung up and hopefully in the next couple days we'll have some video to show you. Hopefully we can figure out what's going on out here with these animals. So make sure that you hit the like button and please, please, if you're not already, subscribe. Let's get this, get these videos out there so we can show everybody what's going on at Robertson's Belly Acres. Yep. Share and hit the, hit the bell and until uh, next time, God bless. Bye-bye.